I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and here today with me is Jay Martin, investor and CEO of Cambridge House. Thank you so much for joining me online today. Great to see you. Yeah, really good to see you, Charlotte. Thanks for having me. Of course, really good to see you online, but of course, in just a couple of weeks, we will hopefully see each other in person at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference, BRIC. We're here to talk about that today. So we're going to get into that, but before we go into all the details, I wondered if you could give me your take on the resource space right now. As we're heading into this event, how do you see the commodities space? Well, similar to you, I have a ton of conversations with macro finance personalities, legendary investors, company builders, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I always, you know, every conversation is different, but I always ask the same question, usually at the end of the interview, and that is, where are you putting cash right now? Which is to say, like, where is their value? And through the entirety of 2021 and the first half of 2022, that was a really, really difficult question to answer because everything was hitting all-time highs. If you're looking at the broad equities market, the real estate market, the crypto market, all-time highs, all-time highs, all-time highs. There was one little industry that was massively unloved, and that was the junior mining sector. And so that's what I see. I see prices that have depreciated between 50 and 80 percent. I see a lot of great names on fire sale that had a banner 2020 and then a massive cool off, giving investors a second chance to jump in at super cheap valuations. And keep in mind, like, you know, I've only been in this industry since 2010. But in that tenure, I've never seen balance sheets as healthy as they are today. I've never seen management as competent and disciplined as they are today. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm very bullish on this industry right now. Okay, well, that's definitely what we want to hear heading into an event like this. So you've, you've, done, you've really embraced the online event situation, which I think a lot of us have. We've moved into doing things online during COVID over the last two years, of course, we know it's great to be back in person, but for you, why did it feel so important to, you know, get people together after, after seeing success with the online component? Well, it's a very self-serving endeavor, Charlotte. I'm building the conference that I want to go to, you know, and so if you look at who's on my stage, they're the individuals that I want to talk to. And right now I have a lot of questions. I mean, I think if the first two years of the 2020s were chaotic, unpredictable and volatile, I think we're just getting started and the remainder of this decade will be like the decade has been so far. And so, you know, if you look at the agenda that we've put together here, it's, it's very specific, right? For example, you know, there's two individuals that I really needed to have at the show. One is the former prime minister of Canada, Stephen Harper. And the second is the former president of Mexico, Felipe Calderon. And the reason I needed those two was because they were the two in office during the 2008 crash and they were in all the closed door meetings with George W. Bush at a time when the world was beginning to lose confidence at scale in the US dollar. And those conversations at that point when, when Bush was trying to figure out how to reinvigorate confidence in the US dollar and project an air of competency to the world, that's happening right now again, right? And I mean, what better perspective than to grab two world leaders who were in those meetings, Canada and Mexico during a time when Canada, the US and Mexico are trying to put together, you know, a united front and an air of confidence. And we're seeing this now, massive philosophical shifts from central banks all over the world. Israel, you know, dropping some of their USD holdings in favor of Yuan. They've never done that before. We're seeing these massive paradigm shifts. Nobody knows how it's going to play out. There's way too many unpredictable forces at play. But what better way to get some insight than to sit down with the leaders of two, you know, G7 and G20 nations you know, and, and I try to do two things at these events, like understand the macro, because I want to understand where the headwinds are and where the tailwinds are, but with the purpose of that pointing me to the early stage investment opportunity. And so then we get into the micro, right? And so on our stage this year, you're going to see a lot of my favorite macro finance personalities that I really trust and respect that don't agree with each other, most importantly, and then a lot of the stock pickers, you know, that you'll be familiar with that have been on my stage many times that really get into the granular investment opportunity and coupling that macro with the purpose of identifying the micro because I'm a retail investor, just like our audience and, and I wanna make money too. 
Yeah, okay, this is exactly what I wanted you to get into, you know, how did you choose the speakers? How did you decide who you're going to put on stage? You've spoken about a couple of the, the big ones. Are there any other can't miss panels or talks that you, you really would highlight for people going into VRIC? There's, there's two names that I haven't mentioned that I'm, I'm super excited about. One is Nomi Prinz. And Nomi is just an absolute beast. Very, very intelligent. You know, she was a, a partner at Bear Stearns, a partner at Goldman Sachs. She was actually the architect behind a lot of Goldman Sachs, very complex financial products. Had a change of heart at the beginning of the 2000s and pivoted towards what I would call like financial vigilante journalism, you know? And her books are All the President's Bankers, it takes a pillage, collusion. These are books that shine a light on the collusion and corruption and collaboration between central banks, private banks, and the government. Now, in terms of understanding power dynamics at a macro scale, Nomi is brilliant at pointing at what really matters. And I mean, the reason she's so valuable to me is because, you know, every day, Charlotte, like we're hit with way too many headlines and the media will try to convince us that every single one of them matters, but they don't, right? And cutting through that noise and getting to the signal is really, really tough. Normally somebody who does that very, very well. A second will be Danielle DiMartino Booth, you know, a Federal Reserve insider, right? She was at the Dallas Bank. Um, again, privy to conversations that occurred in 2008, right? During the last financial crisis. And she has a pretty great inside scoop on how decisions are made and how policies are sold to the public. And uh, incredibly eloquent, incredibly smart. And I'm looking forward to squaring off with both of them on stage mid-May here. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. So thanks for going through those. I know that everybody should, of course, sit down with the schedule themselves and, you know, determine what they really want to see. I wondered, you know, this is going to be maybe people's first big event or conference that they're going to since we've been indoors and online during COVID. What, what tips do you have for people on how to make the most out of it? Well, there's a lot going on, right? We have a main, a main stage with a lot of our big picture conversations. And then we have six workshop breakout rooms. And so what I suggest to people is, is don't miss the speaker hall sessions. When I'm running the main stage, there's nothing else happening. So everything is in there. And if you want to hear from the former world leaders, from these macro uh, personalities that I mentioned, in addition to many, many more, and the biggest, I think most impactful conversations hit the speaker hall in the morning and the late afternoon. I'm not running any other stages at that, at that time. So you can catch everything that you want. After that, you really have to choose your own adventure because there will be six stages running concurrently. And what I tell people is, you know, think about what you want out of the conference, right? Because if you're looking for stock picks in the copper sector, then go listen to Paul Harris, right? If you're curious about the silver market, go listen to Jeff Clark or Jeffrey Christian, right? If you want gold picks and uranium picks, go listen to Nick Hodge and Rick Rule. They're all there, right? And we do, a, I think, a pretty great job at identifying exactly what you're going to hear during each individual's keynote so you can plan accordingly, because it is tough. And it's the biggest complaint I get when we run a show like this is, you know, I can't see everything I want to see. And I get it. See what you can see. See what you want to see the most. And then whatever you miss, you know, we do distribute 95% of the content on one of our YouTube channels uh, following the event. So you can catch it all eventually. Yeah, yeah. Speaking from experience, I know that you do have to plan. And even if you plan the absolute best you can, you probably won't see everything you want to. So great to have that YouTube option after it airs. As we're wrapping up here, this is happening May 17th and 18th in Vancouver at the Convention Center. Any final details that you want people to know? Yeah. What would you tell us? Cambridgehouse.com for tickets. We still have tickets available. There's the general admission, there's VIP. VIP is now sold out. There's super VIP, we still have a few left. And these are just preferred seating in our main halls and a couple extras, uh, super VIP. You get, you get to meet the prime minister, you get to meet the president, et cetera, et cetera. And a handful of our keynote speakers. But general admission, tons of tickets available. Love to see you there. I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be super fun. Like I said, it's the conference that I wanna to go to. Okay, that's so great. Thank you for, for taking the time to talk to us about it. Looking forward to seeing you there and hopefully a lot of our audience members there as well. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, Charlotte. Thank you. Of course. And once again, I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is Jay Martin with Cambridge House.